All right, everyone, this is Ash. Welcome back to the King's Speech. Uh, so, like I did at... I don't know why the hell it's giving me that warning, but whatever. Uh, so, I just finished recording the uh, first Akane Banaj video. Uh, so, I'll do a quick TLDR like I did at the beginning of that one. Uh, so, plan right now is to hopefully catch up with this series by next week. Uh, so, that by that point, I can then start hopefully doing uh, weekly reaction reviews. Uh, hopefully I have a channel update to more out as well. It uh, won't be anything like super complicated or long, but it'll just be kind of like a general timeline of what videos are coming out, when to expect them, stuff like that. Uh, so look forward to that as well. Uh, so without further ado, let us dive straight into it with Akane Banashi Story 17, uh, the Karakuka Prelims, with story by Yuki Suenaga, uh, art by Takamasa Moe, uh, translation by Stephen Paul, lettering by Sneer Aaron. And I think there was always the Rakugo credit, but I don't see it on here. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, we pick up with a flashback to the library. Uh, Rokane's with her teacher. As her teacher goes, Jugumu, huh? The one about the long name that's like a tongue twister? It's like, yes! I'm going to be performing it at the Karaku Cup. And her teacher's like, then you should probably be practicing your speed technique, not reading. And Akane is like, that's what you'd think, right? But I realized something important recently. The key to Jugumu. And you see that the book she's leafing through is called uh, The Child is Gods Until Seven Years Old, Customs of Old Edo. Uh, so yeah, Akane goes, the key to Jugumu isn't to speak really, really fast. And uh, so we pick up where we left off with Akane at the stage going, In the past, when new parents had a baby, they would go to knowledgeable elders or monks at a temple for advice on naming that child. In fact, it's almost surprising how common this was. And, uh, was it... Oh, God, I cannot remember Pretty Boy's name. Was it Issei? Uh, da 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 was it? No, it's, uh, Kaisei. I knew it was a something say. So it's, uh, Kaisei's is going, I don't sense any nervousness from her. This hall has a capacity of 600 people, and there are nearly 400 in here now. That's way more people than at the Rakugo Cafe. And he thinks back to Akane telling him, I've never treated this like a mere game. It's like, I guess she wasn't all talk after all. It's like, perhaps because of his extremely long name, he grew into quite the rambunctious little brat. He'd get into fights with other children and make them cry. They would run home to tell their parents about what he'd done. And uh, Gurikos in the audience going, There's no comparison between her and the other students. She's leagues above anyone else in her generation. And you see the audience is kind of reacting with surprise as Akane is going on. Yeah, it was your boy, Jugumu, Jugumu. And uh, Guriko is going, even still, it's going to be hard to win with Jugumu. And he thinks back to Akane telling him, I finally turned Jugumu into words. It's like she made it sound like Koguma Ani-san's advice helped her figure something out. And uh, Akane goes, no, Chosuke, hit me right on the head. It gave me this big lump. It's like, are you saying that my son... Like, but how is she going to change the pivotal phrase? What the hell? Uh, so she, of course, is just speed blitzing it. Speed blitzing it, going, Chukumu, Chukumu, Goko no Suri... Suriki Rezukari, Kaijari, Sugiyo no Sugiyo Matsu, Ungoyo Matsu, Furiyo Matsu, Kuneru Tokoro, Nisumu Tokoro, Yuboroku Ju, Yuboroku Ji no Buraku Ji, Paipo, Paipo, Paipo no Shuringan, Shuringan no Gurinda, Grindai nai, Grindai Grindai no Ponpoko pi no Ponpoko na no Choki Yume no Chosake would do that? And Guriko was like, so fast! It's like, I mean, it was sharper than when she showed it off at the park, but it's still just a straightforward recitation. Did she totally ignore Anisan's advice? And Koguma's just going, she's got guts. Even if it's ultimately to help her win the final, she's limiting herself to just the phrase in the prelims. It's like, honey, did you hear what our son, Chukumu Chukumu Gokuno, I'm not, okay, I'm not going to say the whole thing out loud. You guys get the gist, she's doing uh, the name again. And uh, Sakurai is going, she did even faster and she reduced the number of breaths. Fewer breaths means more momentum. If you want a good tempo, and a single breath is ideal. But to do all that for just for this one long line? And Akane is like, this time I'll do it in one. It's like, you have to do the same story in both the prelims and the final event. Win the Karaku Cup just doing Jugumu. And to set that up for today's preliminary round. You have what? My son? Oh, God. I love this panel. 
It's called when using nothing but my straight punch that phrase. Do you have background text is Jugumu's full name? Yeah, like this imposing two page double spread with Akane just like from like a uh, downward angle shot upwards. With Akane having like this imposing presence with like Jugumu name just kind of like emblazoned behind her. Oh, love it. Absolutely epic panel. And as she finishes, you have a raw from the kind of a clap, 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 clap. And someone in the audience is going, wasn't that girl amazing? It's like, she was really, really good. Like, pro-level good. And you see the teacher just kind of stereotypically, I can't pronounce words today, uh, trying to take pictures of her and just kind of blushing, going, what do you think of Miss Osaki's Rakugo? From a professional standpoint. And Goriko's like, huh? Oh, well, it wasn't bad, you know. It's like, I agree. I completely agree. <laughs> it's like a proud little teacher. It's like, I've seen her doing jump rope exercises recently. It's like, I'm certain that was to increase her lung capacity. And uh, Goriko's like, this teacher's more enthusiastic than I thought. And Jav, you're doing great, Miss Osaki. At this rate, I bet you can win. And you see Akana just letting out a huge huffing breath as sweat streaming down her face. As I, again, I am never going to remember Bull Cut's name. Uh, so I'm just going to call him Bull Cut. Who's just kind of going, ha, 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 no way, not going to happen. And Sakura is like, but really, wasn't she super good? He's like, oh sure, but the thing is, that was like when a mega talented singer gets up there and sings a kid's song like the other day I met a bear, see? He's like, who's going to listen to a nursery rhyme song and be like, oh my god, all the feels? Nobody. What she's offering doesn't match the needs of the audience. It's the worst possible choice in terms of establishing her brand. In short, she's playing. She's playing. Besides, nobody who's just copying an ancient Rakugo story stands a chance against me. It's like, I hope she does well, though, if only because she'll be adding to my legend. You see, how's Akane's coming up? She goes, Good job. Would you like some tea? Do you have a bottle of Moko tea? Akane's like, Huh? Really? It's like the girl with the Obi. It's like, To thank you for fixing my kimono. It's like, thank you. Gosh, I'm parched. And you see uh, her going, I looked her up on my phone and found absolutely nothing. She's pretty and talented and has the attention of Kaisei Arakawa. She's a nameless high school girl younger than me. Every one of those qualities will guarantee her some groupies. But this makes it clear who my competition is going to be. I have to outdo her in every possible category. That is the minimum requirement for me to be the star of the Karaku Cup. Oh, Sakara, I don't know why I keep saying her name was uh, Sakura or something. I don't know. Brain is just blitzing today. Now, the first round of the Karaku Cup was much fiercer than in the average year. But the ones who drew the most attention overall were Akane, oh yeah, Bolkut's name is uh, Karashi Naramaya, and Hikaru Karagi. You see that Gurig was apparently being pestered by more questions from the teachers as uh, Koguma's going, these students have too much confidence. The finals are going to get hairy. You have eight names from the field, including these three, were moved onward to the final, where Isho Arakawa awaits. All right. Uh, so I guess some quick thoughts on it. So uh, I think this chapter was kind of like, I think, a good example on the limitations of kind of trying to adapt Rakugo to a manga medium uh, because it was kind of like a little bit hard to kind of, I think, get across the impact of what Akane was doing with uh, uh, Jugumu, like what impact she was trying to get or what effect she was trying to get across uh, to the audience. Like even having like the explainer, like, oh, you know, she's talking like so fast and everything kind of gives you like a general idea so you can kind of imagine it for yourself but I think it does lose a little bit of the impact you know reading it as opposed to kind of hearing what the effect of that would kind of be like and I tried to do my best you know, tried to like do it as best as possible but you know not being super familiar with kind of like the language and the names and everything it's not really going to work for me to try to emulate that and try to get uh, that effect across in these videos. Uh, but again, I can't really like complain about that significantly because again, it still does 
I think, do a good job despite that limitation of kind of getting across the impact and the effects of it. And it's still, like, really well done uh, artwork and storytelling. But, yeah, I don't know, like, I don't know what I was, I could say I was expecting from, like, Akane, like, how she was going to adapt the story, like, how she's going to make it to her own, like, to make it more impactful. And I didn't think that, you know, her teacher telling her, like, oh, you should practice uh, speed reading. And she's just like, oh, no, I have to practice, like, you know, enunciation, pronunciation, trying to speak it, like, really, really, really fast. So, I don't know, like, maybe I'm missing something. Because, again, she's like, oh, she's changed up the cadence of how she's doing. Like, she's, they, I assume the, what they're telling us with, like, oh, you should reduce the number of breaths is, like, She's not pausing between, like, doing the name out loud. So each time she's repeating, she's getting a little bit faster with repeating. And, like, I guess that's how come it came across as so impressive. She's saying out this name, like, out loud so quickly without having to pause to take a breath. But, again, I didn't really feel the impact of that. And I didn't, or don't think it really came across for me, like, how come this was so well received. Like, how special it was given how it was done, especially because you keep, we kind of kept cutting back from the actual story to the audience reaction back and forth. I think that kind of undercut the reaction a little bit as well. The fact we didn't get to like fully see it. I guess I can kind of give it a break though, because I guess this is kind of supposed to just be a tease because you know the big like momentous thing is going to be the finale where she's really going to have to, you know, kind of give it her all to beat out the other competitors. Uh, so hopefully that'll deliver a little bit better than this, but yeah, I think there was a lot of setup and build up, and I think a lot of, I was expecting more, I don't think this delivered as well as I would have liked, but uh, I guess we'll see, wait and see uh, what the finals have in store uh, for us. Uh, but yeah, so with that said, as always, I hope you at least enjoyed uh, my uh, lackluster attempt to trying to emulate uh, the effect of what Akane was going for. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and as always if you do like my content uh, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, especially liking, commenting, and subscribing does help me a lot more uh, than just views on uh, YouTube because it tells the algorithm that you know that my content is uh, worth boosting. Uh, so if you would like to help me by doing that uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to try to get to another couple of chapters today, another couple tomorrow, and then hopefully by next week I'll be fully caught up with the series. And then hopefully by then I'll be able to do these reactions weekly. Uh, but yeah, until next time, this is Ash. I will talk to you all later.